everybody, so we've got a fun review today as we're discussing the live-action remake of The Little Mermaid. For me personally, when it comes to all these Disney live-action remakes, I usually am pretty mixed on them. There are some that I genuinely do enjoy, others not so much. It really kind of ranges in terms of quality for each and every project, but still, nevertheless, I do go into these trying to be open to new interpretations of these classic media, but I can't deny, usually whenever it's anything involving the Disney Renaissance era, an era I grew up in, those are the films I get really really nervous about them remaking, like The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid follows Ariel, a young mermaid who makes a deal with a sea witch named Ursula to trade her beautiful voice for human legs to experience the world beyond the sea. As we've learned time and time again over the years, nostalgia is an extremely powerful tool. That is why Disney continues to remake all of their classics. And much like with all the other Disney live-action remakes, it isn't hard whatsoever to continue to be swept up into all the nostalgia. Seeing all these songs and musical sequences recreated from the original, but you also want more than just recreations of the stuff that we loved growing up as kids. And I would say with this remake of The Little Mermaid, I think there is enough heart and story here within this to warrant a new interpretation. The charm overall still feels prevalent steering this adventure forward with Ariel and her interest in the above world and even expanding further upon those interests outside of Prince Eric which kind of works here and also kind of doesn't. We'll loop back around to that eventually. The biggest strength of this remake by far is Halle Bailey as Ariel. I think she's fantastic. And fully deserving of all the glowing praise. She's terrific on all fronts. Radiating so much warmth and emotion in every scene that she's in and completely blew me away. Even outside of just her phenomenal singing voice, I loved what she brought to this updated version of the character and making you feel for her on this journey that we're all very familiar with, even when the story shifts on land and we explore that romance angle with Prince Eric. Of course, it is up to personal preference, but I think overall, both Halle Bailey and Jonah Howard King had some pretty solid romantic chemistry, even though some of the musical numbers, like Kiss the Girl, I don't think necessarily are fantastic or anything, but the other supporting cast, I do think, are solid as well. Melissa McCarthy is one of those actresses that I've always kind of silently rooted for. I've always been a big fan of her film even though a lot of the time she chooses some pretty bad projects. This performance, however, I think is fairly solid. It's probably one of her better performances in recent years. She is wickedly evil, delightfully malevolent in all the best ways. Of course, Ursula is an iconic villain, but Melissa McCarthy plays the part quite well. And I quite enjoyed all the interactions that she had with Ariel over the course of the film. Honestly, the only person in the film that I thought didn't give a great performance was Javier Bardem. It was very weird. It was very stilted. I don't know what the direction was for his character, but it was was very disappointing. For a film like The Little Mermaid, which has some of the most iconic songs in Disney's history, I do think when they recreated them for this live action remake, some of them are pretty fantastic. While we have seen bits and pieces of Part of Your World already, in the context of the film, seeing the full song play out, it's gorgeous. I love everything about the sequence, the visuals, the vocals, everything about it is top tier for me. Halle Bailey's voice is phenomenal, so of course she's going to knock it out of the park. That was never a doubt in my mind, being a fan of both her and her sister's music. Even some of the other musical numbers, like Under the Sea, is pretty fun. It's colorful, it's upbeat, it's one of those songs I always loved growing up, and Sebastian continues to kill it here. David Diggs, I think, does a great job. I still think it is kind of jarring, though, seeing him just look like an actual crab, and same goes for these other characters, like Flounder. It's just, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Ironically, of all the different musical numbers we hear over the course of the film, the ones that I probably disliked the most were the newer ones that were done in part by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is someone that I usually enjoy their music, but this film in particular, I just wasn't that fond of the songs. I think they're just generally very forgettable. There's one that Aquafina sings at one point that also just was not, probably my least favorite among all the songs in general. I say singing, but it's actually more like rapping. It's, you know, the usual Lin-Manuel style. Maybe you'll like it a lot more than I did. It just seems like we cannot escape Lin-Manuel Miranda when it comes to these Disney projects. It seems like in every Disney project lately, he's a part of it some shape or form. One of my biggest concerns going into this film were the visuals. Visuals. The trailers did not do this film any favors as far as selling the visual stylings of it. And for the most part, the VFX work in this, I think, kind of does vary. Because there are a various amount of pretty decent looking, colorful underwater sequences that are pretty enjoyable to look at. But there's also just as many that have issues, whether it's just questionable VFX work or just the lighting of the scene in general. Just being way too dark or murky at points where you kind of have a rough time seeing what's going on. Basically, even though it's 
it's an unfair comparison. It doesn't look anywhere as good water effects wise as Avatar The Way of Water that we got last year. Given that this remake is a whole lot longer than the 1989 original, almost an hour longer to be exact, there is a whole lot new material in this remake that expands upon a lot of the things that we're familiar with in the story of the original, while also attempting to expand upon new things in the story too, adding more modern spins to them. And I'm iffy on most of it because I think for the most part, it doesn't really feel that necessary to add all these things. If anything, a lot of the story here that works best comes from that 1989 film, while the rest of it kind of just makes the film feel a little bit overstuffed. I really don't feel like this film need to be over two hours long. While the remake doesn't surpass the 1989 Little Mermaid in any shape or form, I do think for the most part, this is one of the better of the Disney live action remakes. I think there is enough magic here to get some enjoyment out of. Halle Bailey is the shining beacon that keeps everything afloat with her charm and her beautiful voice. And I hope her performance here inspires a newer generation of Ariel fans. It's kind of weird actually kind of somewhat enjoying a Disney live action remake. It's been a very long time. But now you've heard my thoughts on Little Mermaid. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. What'd you think of the film once you get a chance to check it out? Did you like the film? Did you not like the film? Share all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Part of the funnest time that conversation with you guys in the comment section down below. Thank you guys as always for that videos. I always do appreciate it. Make sure to like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so you update reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Next time, I'll see you guys later.